Bible is an intelligent book. And you cannot understand it until you read everything. You didn't hear that. The Bible is an intelligent book. And you cannot understand it until you read everything together. You will never be able to know the revelation given in the Bible until you read everything together. You see, when you do piecemeal reading or selective reading, you will arrive at error. Piecemeal or selective. When you cherry pick scriptures, you will arrive at error. We often say, when you want to lay a doctrine in scripture, you must see that doctrine in the book of Genesis as a seed. You must see that doctrine in the law of Moses, which is Exodus to Deuteronomy, as types and shadows. That same doctrine must be seen in the book of Psalm as David's song. That same doctrine must be seen in the prophets as a prophecy. That same doctrine must be seen in the four gospel as one of Jesus' parables. And then that same doctrine must be seen in the epistles as the revelation of God. So it must transverse through the entire books of the Bible for it to become a doctrine. Every scriptural doctrine has its roots in Moses. Every doctrine of scripture. Moses laid the building blocks for doctrine. That's why everything Jesus taught was from Moses. Beginning at Moses and all the prophets. Which means all the prophets took their teaching notes from Moses. So Moses is the foundation of Bible doctrine. Beginning at Moses and all the prophets. Bereshit Moses and all the prophets. He expounded unto them in all the scriptures. So Moses laid the building blocks for doctrine. You will find that out in a few minutes as we proceed. Which means in other words, you need to read everything together to know who God is. Then Jesus said, how did you arrive at Deuteronomy 24 without Genesis? What Jesus was saying is it will be immoral for you to jump Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and arrive at Deuteronomy without considering what Genesis says because Genesis lays the framework which means in reading the Bible you must read the Bible in, in its sequential order that's what Jesus was saying that's why Jesus himself in teaching he begins at Moses and all he doesn't begin at the prophets then Moses eh, eh. there's an order of arrangement bibliology there's a, a sequential arrangement of the Bible if you jump that sequence you can be confused that's why you read the Bible from Genesis then you travel through so you have the clear understand because Moses laid the building blocks for doctrine oh yes that's why all doctrinal issues you will see them mentioned by Moses in one form or the other heaven earth light darkness eat die those are building blocks for doctrine <laughs> those words from the mouth of Moses they are building blocks for doctrine if I have time maybe by Saturday when I built this message to a level I will open up a few things pray that I will have time amen, amen. pray that we have time <laughs> you know. so there's an order you don't just go Jesus said to them how did you arrive at Deuteronomy have you not read that Genesis comes before Deuteronomy in Genesis he says what God has joined together male and female created he them the twin shall be one flesh how did you arrive at divorce before understanding the plan the plan is no divorce but Moses now saw that like as it is with all human institutions human institutions are subject to error Moses seeing how men operate 
created room for divorce because at the end of the day it's better to divorce than to kill your husband it's better to divorce than to kill your wife because you didn't come to this earth to marry <laughs> 